We're going to be using this uh, past paper, IGCSE 2016 past paper for the mail merge. And we're going to start by understanding what we have to do. So first thing is, it says here, Tawara Adventures are recruiting staff for their new activity center in France. You're required to carry out mail merge to invite successful applicants for interview. Use the file, that one there, that's an RTF, so that's our rich text format, that's gonna be our document, as the master letter for the mail merge, and the file j216applicants.csv, that's gonna be our data source file, comma separated values. Then, so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to open up our document, here's our document here, interview RTF, and this is, our document. This is our template which we're going to use and we're going to merge these fields here. Can you see these triangles here are called chevrons so everything that's inside these chevrons is going to be replaced. So let's carry on. In the master let replace date with the field right. So let's have a look at that. We've There's the date. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to show you something here. So the one method that a lot of people use is this. I'm going to expand Word a little bit here so you can see all of the ribbon, the top part. So if I go to the insert section. Now, you, you might be tempted to quickly, I'll just expand that a little bit more, there we go, click on, in, from the insert, date and time, and choose the appropriate one. In this case, the appropriate one is that one there. So two for date, four for month, and four for year. And that's that one there, and click OK. This won't get you the marks. The reason is there's no way of showing the field code which is used to bring this date in. So if I right click on this, you can see um, there's, there's a section that we're looking for, toggle field codes, it doesn't exist. The correct way to do this is this. We're gonna to go to insert again from insert. So there's my insert ribbon now. And we're going to look for quick parts. Here's quick parts. If I expand this a little bit more, you can see the bigger icon. There it is, quick parts. And then from here, I'm gonna choose field. And when I add a field, you can actually see the field codes. So if I go to date, there's the same date format there, click OK. And obviously it looks exactly the same. This time though, let me just put this back within the recording view. Uh, this time though, if I right click on this date, I can see the toggle field codes and there's the date and the format because I need to show this afterwards. So if you need to add the date, make sure you use the quick parts and insert the field. Next, I can right click and toggle that again, it goes back to normal. Okay, so the next part is insert relevant merge fields from the data source to uh, data source file to replace the text in chevrons, i.e. chevron field, chevron. Okay, so that's all of these need here, need to be replaced. So before I can do that, I need to link my data source file with my document. So to do this, I'm gonna to go to mailings. I need to select recipients. Can you see this is grayed out? This is grayed out because we haven't linked anything to this template yet. So I'm gonna click on that. We have an existing document, that's our CSV file. I need to go find my CSV file now. I should have it on my desktop. And here it is here, j216applicants.csv. So I'm gonna double click on this. And basically all that does, it creates a link between the Word document and the, the CSV file. And we can see now that the link's been made, this button is actually available, and some more buttons here are available. So now what we need to do is replace all of these tags here, these placeholders, with the fields that we want. So here we want title, first name, last name. I'm gonna select all this, and I'm going to add insert merge field. I want the title, space, first name, space, last name, press enter. Then I want the address one, address two, address three. I'm doing these all in one go, but you can do it any way you want. So I'm gonna to go to address one, press enter, address two, address three. And so uh, here we want the postcode. And we want title and last name. Title, space, last name. I'm putting the space so we don't have the title and the last name mixed together. Job role. 
and uh, make sure you look through the document and find all of these placeholders with the chevrons and here we want interview time make sure there's no more we've got some spelling mistakes here but we're going to have a look at the the question paper first okay replace the text candidate name with your name so i've done that so i'm going to go down to here candidate name my name include center number candidate number in the footer of the document so i'm going to go to the bottom double click here to open my footer you can also go from the header footer section i'm going to write my cy127 is my center number and a fake candidate number one two three four five six close header footer and then <clears throat> so we've done that bit there spell check and proofread the letter so We've got some spelling mistakes here. We're going to correct. And then save the master letter. Now, when I save, I need to save it as a document, not as an RTF, as a Word document. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to save it as a Word document, a docx, and save. So that's saved. I know that by looking up here in the top, it's got the file name and the extension. Then it says display the field codes. Now displaying the field codes is simply this. You right click, as I showed you before, on each one of these and choose toggle field codes. You have to do it for all of them, but not necessarily. I'm gonna show you why in a minute. I'm just gonna do these ones here, okay? Just those ones, but these, all of these here, we, we need to show the field codes, but be patient, I'll show you how to do that. All right, then it says, and this is the important part, this is where you show evidence or take printouts. So this is what you get marked on. Place in your evidence document screenshot showing evidence of the format of the date field. So what I'm gonna do there, how about that? I'm going to, this is the evidence. So by right clicking toggle field codes on this, like that, there's my evidence. It's showing the format of my date and I want a screenshot of that. So I'm gonna take my snipping tool, new, and I'm gonna take a little bit more, this is, this is why I, I did these ones as well, this first line also at the bottom, so they can see these ones as well. But that's the one they're interested in for this particular piece of evidence. So I can paste this in my evidence document. Then, then it says, print your master letter with the merge fields display. Now, here's the issue. If I go and change all of these, toggle field codes and display all of them. When I try to print this document with the field codes, file print, if I go to my print preview, although it displays it like that, it might not, and most likely it will not print these field codes. Now, in my case, can you see here, it is, and I've, I've got to show you why, because I've, I've made the change. So let me show you what change I've made. So I'm gonna go, can you see these have gone now? Some of these have vanished, all of them. It doesn't show the field codes. So what you need to do to print those field codes, you need to go to the following section. File, Options, then from here go to Advanced. If you scroll down to the section Printing or Print there, I've got ticked here Print Field Codes instead of their values. By default, it will be like this. So let me show you. If I try this now, right click, toggle field codes, and let's say I've got this first line, and let's say I've done this for all of these, if I go to file print, can you see, it's not, let's zoom that in, it's not showing what we want it to show, okay? It's just showing the chevrons, it's not showing the field codes and you can't print them. The only way to print them is if you go to options, go to advanced, scroll down to the section print, and then from here choose print field codes instead of their values. Click okay. And whether you toggle these or not, it doesn't matter. And this is why I said you don't have to do all of them. Because now if I go to print, file print, I don't need to do any toggling of my codes. It's got all of these merge fields. Can you see these ones, the ones in the text, everything. And that's all you need to do. Okay, so if we um, go back now to 
So we've done that. If we're going to our, back to our question. So we've done this section here. We've shown a screenshot of the format of the date. And this next one is a printout showing um, the fields displayed. And it has our center number and everything. So that's really important there. We've done all that. So we've basically nearly finished this now. So we've completed all this. Merge the letters selecting only those applicants who have applied for the job of ski instructor so that's what we want there and it wants here placing your evidence document screenshot showing your selection method so if i go to word so we've added the fields now if i go to my mailings you can see now this section here that was enabled if i go to edit recipient list here it shows me all the recipients i want to filter this and before i do that if i have a look you can see that the job role holds information where there is for ski instructor. So I want to filter on this field here, job role, and I'm looking for ski instructor. So I'm gonna to go to filter. I'm going to filter based on job role equal to ski instructor. And if, if there are other criteria as well, equal to this and another field to that, or you can just add more levels here. So when I click on OK, you can see that's filtered down now to these last three. Now I need to show evidence as well. So I'm going to leave this here showing my information, the names, and I'm going to click on my filter and I'm going to take a screenshot of all of this. So if I open that, I'm going to take a screenshot of that there. And that shows the results and how I got those results. Okay, so let's minimize that. Okay, okay. And so now we've selected those recipients. Print only the merged letters for the selected applicants. And that's it. Make sure that you have entered your name, centre number, candidate number in your letters. So now it's just a matter of, from here, finish and merge. Okay, I want to print documents. So if I just click on print, it will print. To show you and display what we've got, I'm going to go to edit individual documents and that simply opens each document, each letter individually instead of printing them. So here we go. I'm going to want all of them and that will give me this one. That's one letter. So if I scroll out, there are my three letters. One, two, three. And I can edit them individually if I want. But we don't need to do that. All you will need to do is just simply click on print. Now I can save this as a new document. I'm just going to close that. Don't need to save. But all you need to do is just go to finish print documents. And that's it.